Hey everybody, we're live. We're here at the thank you. We're here at the lot inner city long form improv jam. Give it up. Woohoo! We are, we are streaming live on Facebook, so if you'd like uh, anybody uh, here on the Zoom call, please share it uh, on your own Facebook stream so you can get out the word out there. Uh, and we're gonna do some long form improv today, so let's see what that's gonna be like. Get that in just a second. Share screen. Uh, yeah, with some. Yeah, you're right. And there we. And there we. No, we're not. There we are. And present. There we are. We are the Inner City Long Form Improv Jam. As you know, you're here. You're here. When you're here, you're here. Uh, this is our jam format. We are going to put you into a randomly assigned team of either musical improv or non-musical improv. And right now, our lovely volunteers are assigning you to one of two teams based on how you joined up. If you just came in, contact either Michael Workowski or Michael Rostrauskas, and they will help you out and get you uh, set up. We're going to do 15-minute montage sets. That's the form we're playing. Our goal time is to be just about a little over two hours. Uh, we use sweep edits and tag outs. Uh, if you want to sweep a scene, you get on, you turn on your your video and say sweep and make a, a hand motion with both hands very loudly. Uh, so let's all, I'm going to stop the share and you're all going to show what a sweep is. Let's all show what a sweep is. Ready? One, two, three. Sweep. 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 Very Sweep. good. Very good. Thank you. And then we go move back. Hey, where'd it go? Hey, where'd it go? I lost it. One more time. Slide deck. There we are. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Thank you. And it's still not working. I'm getting it. Share almost. Ah, almost. Slide deck. There we are. Slide deck. Share screen. Slide deck. Uh, share. Come on. Yay, we got it. There we are. We did it. If you would like uh, to tag somebody out, you can simply turn on your video and say tag out, tag out name. Uh, then that person will turn off their camera and you could turn your camera on. So that's how you could uh, tag in or tag in, tag yourself out. Uh, after, since you only have a 15 minute set, we'll be giving you a warning at two minutes. We each set as a timer. Uh, they'll give you about a two minute warning to signify that it's your last scene to wrap it up. Uh, and they'll call, call scenes at the end of two minutes. If you're in a musical set, that's probably the time to Get your reps in and get that big group scene together that ends those great musical sets the way we like. Um, be sure to mute yourself if uh, you're in the audience, because uh, uh, mute the audio even if you're in the audience. But on the back line, you might want to leave your uh, audio on just your teammates could hear you laugh. That's always nice. Uh, but if you're in the audience, please mute, mute your audio. And Colin White says you might get yourself muted by one of the volunteers. So uh, if that happens, we might mute you. Uh, if you want to talk later during the Lion Game or during your own set, just give us a, a give us a yell and we'll unmute you. Uh, clean that screen. Uh, if you'd like, you should hide video non-video non participants on the uh, video settings screen. Uh, if you don't know how to do that, contact one of the uh, volunteers. We'll we'll try and write you through it. Uh, most people have done it. Hide non-video participants, and this is what it looks like when you hide in gallery view. When you're hiding non-video participants, you just see the lovely people's faces, not all those blanks, black screens. Uh, we are streaming on Facebook, so please share the video. Uh, also, if you don't want to be streamed, uh, this is your warning. So, uh, we we'll we'll talk to you if that's a problem. Uh, we have some sensitive topics, stuff that we should think you should stay away from. Political COVID-19, we've all been there. We've all done it. We all live it every day. We don't need to do it here. Our religion, spirituality, uh, blue humor, it's, uh, it, we're, we're for everybody here. So let's, let's, let's stay away from that. Anything about stalking or socioeconomic disadvantage, cursing, it's not a full list, but you, you get the gist. 
These are banned. We do not want these at all. No, no flashing each other. Keep your clothes on. We're not talking about rape, kidnapping, miscarriage, suicide. We're not doing any of the isms, racism, sexism, mother isms, mental illness, or anything that makes the person's identity the butt of the joke. Obviously, this is examples, not an exhaustive list. And because of this, we have a timeout policy. Uh, at any time, anyone could call a timeout during any scene or set if they see something violating our guidelines and banned topics. Turn on, if, if something happens, simply turn on your camera, call timeout, and say this violates our jam guidelines. Let's move on to the next scene. We'll then edit the scene and move on. Uh, we'll be watching the sets. However, we encourage everyone to feel empowered to call a timeout if, if needed. Uh, if you're not uncomfortable doing that, you don't, don't hesitate to message or volunteer myself, uh, the Michaels, or the, the rest of any of the hosts or timekeepers, because uh, we want to have a fun and safe space here. Uh, there's some tips for helping us out. Uh, one person speaking at a time. I know I'm guilty of uh, trying to overlap other people, but try not to. I'm trying to do that myself. Uh, this is a safe space. Treat others with respect. Don't be rude. We're all from different places in the world in the country uh so no tro in the chat uh be supportive no trolling uh use your actual face if you're going to use a puppet or a little doll i use my my lego guys sometimes make sure your face is in it because your face is your facial features are what we want to see uh let's manage your playing time look out for your teammates you only got 15 minutes if you've been on three scenes in a row maybe set a scene out if you see somebody hasn't had a chance to co to come in bring them in um when improvising music don't worry about the lag uh, just your play carries you better. The, the MDs are going to follow you, uh, and they're just going to follow the beat. Don't worry about the lag. And when the timer is called, when the, uh, get up there. That's the last scene probably. And finally have fun, laugh, it'll lighten the mood. And stick, did I miss something? Yeah. Stick around afterwards. Uh, stick around afterwards. Uh, we'll, we'll have a group game, group line game. We'll have our feature troop announcement for next week. Hint, it's the festival. Uh, we'll have some feedback and some light mingling and the lovely whiteboard that everybody loves and we can spread the word. And of course, our headliner tonight is the infamous, the famous, the infamous at the Inner City House Musical Team, Bantam Roosters. Not only that, they are playing with the orchestra. We have an orchestra that they're playing with right now. Uh, and scene and we're ready to go also i forgot to mention we also have michael olivier who is uh going to be uh helping to underscore uh play for the music scenes and uh underscore one or two of the non-music uh scenes oh. and i think that that with that we are ready to go and where is this i'm here Yes, you're here, and there's then there is Michael to to uh, host the first team. Thank you. All right, this is our first non-musical team of the evening. As I call your name, go ahead and turn on your camera and unmute your audio to make sure you're ready to go. Oh, and there's Michael Olivier, our accompanist, who in fact is listed on the roster for this. So we've got Kevin Wilcox from New York City, Michael Olivier from Nevada City, California. Jose Zapata from Omaha, Nebraska, Cassie Eford from Tucson, Arizona, and to round out team number first, Alex Taylor from Miami, Florida. Go ahead and grab a suggestion and take it away, team one. Can we get a suggestion of a location where you met a favorite friend? The mall. Las Vegas. I, I heard the mall. The mall is our suggestion. Awesome. Thank you. Son, I, I met your mother at this jump the juice 25 Remember. years ago. Of course, I at know. the time it was an orange Julius. Orange Julius. I know, Dad. Orange Julius. Yeah. And yeah. you guys met and you stayed together for six hours and you went you went up in the clock tower and I know all that, Dad. Yeah. Well, here's the thing you don't know. 
I was married before your mother. Why? I met my first wife here before this was an orange Julius. Yeah, at the time it was a Bob's big boy. You didn't meet her at the same place you met mom, did you, dad? Yeah, right here. And these are your uh, two older brothers. Free samples, free samples. Nice to meet you. Hey, brother. Uh, hi. How hey. come you have samples of samples yeah. of, of your orange those? juice? Your older brother is a job. You're at the Jamba Juice. You know where his parents met. Huh. And sons, I have something for all three of you to let you know. Back before this was a Bob's Big Boy, it was an A&W where I met my first wife. You all have another older brother. Oh. Uh, dad. Dad. Yo, 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 yo! How you doing, boys? Hey. That, uh, yeah. that's, that's right. My oldest son is a morning DJ. Yeah. I am so glad to meet you guys. I've been hearing about you for years. That's kind of cool. Kind of cool. But how old are you? Me? Not you. The oldest brother, Eddie. How old are you, Eddie? Yo, yo, yo. I'm a young 25. Oh, so old. You get my drift. Uh, Dad, I'm, I'm 25. Oh, give me five. Give me five, man. That there's actually a bit of overlap on a couple of my marriages. Um, also, there was some light cheating going on. Yeah, you, oh, you also have sense. several other brothers and sisters uh, mm. from other relationships. All right. How are you guys okay with this? That sucks, Dad. I'm the youngest one here. I'm only 12, but how come you guys just put up with this baloney from this guy? Well, now uh, you're... Now we got to share the, in the inheritance. Like, oh my, like, there's going to be nothing left for any of us. What is happening well, right now? Well, that's the other thing. Uh, first, you're not my youngest. Second, I'm actually, um, I believe the technical term is broke. Oh, thank God I have a really good job. <laughs> yeah, so none of you are going to be getting anything anyway. I don't want uh, any of your money. You're stupid. I, I, I did. I just want your Jeez. love, Dad. Oh, definitely not. I just want some money. I don't want to work his job. You know, he's He probably should not have run off by himself. I'm going to have to go after him. But that, that, wait. But, Dad, we're not finished with this conversation, Dad. Wait. Hey, Dad, I'll see you on Tuesday, man. Give me five. What? what? what Why is everyone leaving? What is going well, uh, well, we're at a food court at a mall. You know, it's like you know, you know, maybe he was just going off to a sparrow. Oh my God, I don't understand what's happening right now. I thought my life was together, and now you come with this. I don't. Oh my God, you guys! I just won the lottery, fifty grand. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's what happened. Oh, mm. All right, we. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go get our brother. Okay. You know, you should probably uh, just like go to your brother and try to get an inheritance from him. Really, Dad? Like, yeah, it's very comforting. Like, wow, my whole world is just coming, crashing down all around me. And that's what you say? Like, wow, I don't understand. Oh, my God. Well, li listen, I, I, I care very deeply <laughs> for all my children. Also, I also care about you kids. Um, I'm a soap opera fan. What can I say? Tag out uh, Kevin have... and Jose bringing. This cash. is a special announcement from Intercity. Uh, this set is going to go 20 minutes. Also, the next two teams will also go 20 minutes. We're only going to have three jam teams before, and the second team will be musical. So Woo! 20 minutes. Carry on. Yippee. Oh yeah, bro! <laughs> My booster, <laughs> man. What's up, bro? <laughs> Dang. All right, you, I you won the lottery. More, I just heard we get some more time together. I'm so <laughs> glad. 
<laughs> I, I know we needed it. It's so much. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, by the way, I got a few extra fives. So here you go. Here you go, brother. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I need that. Oh, I you'll need, dance oh. for it. Well, yes, yes. That's great. Yes. Oh, yeah. Throw oh. it. Make it. Yes, make it oh. rain. Ooh. I'm really making it rain. Oh, oh you're yeah. dancing. I'll, I'll, I'll do hey. some dancing too. Let this is my dance time. Oh. You guys are the best brothers ever. I've been hearing about you for years. I love this. Yeah, come on, come on. Give throw me some, some more money. Okay, I'll throw some more at you. <laughs> oh, the man. Throw I've never had. I love you. Yeah, I'm the Tuesday, Tuesday son. Tuesday. My name is Rex. He didn't introduce my name, but you know, Rex. I go by Rex on the radio, actually. I guess I'm Thursday. I'm the Thursday son. Huh, that, that makes a little more sense now. Dad was always gone on Tuesdays. He never wanted to hang out with me on Tuesdays. So he was oh with you. Oh my gosh. He taught me so much about life. He taught me how to change the oil in the car. He taught me how to drive. In fact, I was driving when I was seven. It's what? a great dad. He didn't do any of that with me. What in the world? Oh, me. What? <laughs> he was That's always... okay, you guys. I'll take you to the park. I'll, I'll, I'll teach you how to drive. Oh, okay. Yeah. You're a better dad than our dad, actually. That's yeah. cool. That would be great. I don't know how to drive at all. Yeah, I oh, still take the bus. Wow. Tag out I Jose know. and Alex. Tag out Jose and Alex. <laughs> I really appreciate you teaching me about marijuana and smoking things. Oh, yeah. Dad, dad would never do that. Yeah, well, you know, it, it's vape. Vape is the thing that is the way to go nowadays. You just vape it on as much as you want. But you know what? Only if you want to. I'm not going to push it on you. Just if you want to. Of course I want to. I'm 12. Oh, I know. I, I did a lot of it when I was 12, too. But then Dad told me about this thing called popcorn lung. And uh, I had a, well, let me, in fact, let me just show you this chart on how popcorn lung works. I happen to have it with me. It's a fold-out chart. I don't want to see it. It sounds bad. Well, you see the blackening of the lung mm. as it as time progresses. And I have to tell you that uh, this is like the nice drawing of this, by the way. You're a very organized oh, older yeah. brother. Wow. Yeah. I don't I don't want to learn it anymore. I don't well, want to do okay. it. I don't want to do it. Tag out Cassie, anymore. bring back the rest of my kids. <laughs> uh Kids, I, I brought you to the place where I met all of your mothers uh, because I have some more bad news. Uh, your older brother, Rex, uh, has passed away a popcorn lung. Of course, you know, he was, you know, the one who was going to give you a whole lot of uh, money, but it turned out he forgot to change his will and he left everything to me and I promptly lost it in gambling. Tonava. Well, oh. I say gambling. It's really the stock market. Wow. <laughs> like, this is the best day ever, Dad. Thanks. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. This is what you've done your whole life. Yeah, uh, well, um, I'm going to go run in traffic. Hey, you Wait, guys. don't. I'm a good. Don't. Hey, you guys. Wait Let a me... second. Dad, Dad was going to introduce me to you. I Come back. I my name is Glenda. Wait a second. I'm Rex's sister. Hold on. Don't yeah. want to hear about it. No. Uh -uh. Oh, well, what? anyway. They don't even um, want to meet me? This is so sad. Yeah, well, Glenda, I have good news and I have bad news. Well, let me tell uh, you my, let me tell you my really great news. My step-grandma, um, she won the lottery and then passed away quite quickly and Oddly enough, I now have a ten million dollar lottery win. It's incredible. Well, well ta you no, know that is going to make some that is going to make some sweeping changes to this family. Oh. Some sweeping changes. <laughs> Sweet. <sighs> All right. The problem is that we have. Two people have won the lottery, and I don't know how do we decide who gets all the money. Uh, yeah, me. 
that, that's that's very simple like i should get the money i mean i i won fair and square so why would i split it with somebody else Hey, I'm just a cousin, but I think I should totally get it too. You're like a third cousin, like that's. I know, still blood, still. Yeah, work. still blood, like that's yeah, that's that's a lot of rules. Can't marry me, that's all. Man, that's been diluted so many times. Like no, like that's barely blood. Like it's like, it's like tomato juice or something. Like that doesn't even count. Hey, I have AB positive blood, just like all three, all every one of the sons. Mm, oh that oh yeah that, that that's a big that's a big plus there that's yeah, yeah i think i think dad we have to... to dad told me to hold on to that okay yeah so yeah you're gonna have to split it now oh all right what we we talking about like 80 20 that sounds that sounds about fair i mean I, she's a third cousin well i, I mean feats of strength Ooh. of strength um yeah, nah, no. Hmm. What about feats of dancing? Oh, I'm up Ooh. for that. My family dances too. Oh yes, yes. This this will be the thing. Yes, yes. Whoever can dance better, ha ha. Yes, it's a dance off. Wait, yes, a dance off. That's what you call it—a dance off. We just created a new word. Yes. <laughs> Who who's judging this? I will. <laughs> yeah, that sounds fair. I will also judge this. All right, all right. I got. I, it's it's all good. It's my money. I'm gonna win this fair and square. All right. What you got? What you got? Come on. Little little bit of music. What do we I need? I need a little music first. Oh yeah. Come on. Get us in the mood. Okay. Oh, that's all in my head. <laughs> yeah, you hear? I, I hear it. Yeah. I, oh yeah. Mm, mm, mm. You must be a lot younger than me. I can't hear it. Yeah. It's like special it. music, huh? It's up loud. What are you talking about? It. If you don't dance, then you don't participate. You hey, don't wait a second. win. There, there's a thing where like only the younger people hear the music and the older people don't hear it. I hear the. I'm middle aged, so I don't. I'm, I hear the oh, music my God. perfectly. I, I thought we were all the same age. I hear. I, ooh. <sighs> Man, well, I think I should judge this since I can't hear anything. Here you go. Yeah. Oh. oh, thank you. I think I'm winning. I don't know about none of this, but I'm winning. Yes. Yeah, right. you have my vote because I I think you've done the best. Like with the music that's been played, like it's. Just... I'm here. I'm seeing a, the monkey. The monkey run right there. That was it, man. The monkey run. You guys missed out on that monkey run. A monkey run. I gotta give it to the youngest. I'm sorry. Did I win or what? Come on. How does he win? Like I the youngest. Good job, it. man. Can I go? Everyone but with Cassie. <sighs> Hello. I'd like you to be the new judge on the next season of So You Think You Can Dance. Oh, that'd be great. There's a, a couple criteria though. Um I have a deficit with my hearing that I can't hear like real young music if it's at a certain tone. Well, the good news is that doesn't really matter. None of our judges can real, really tell anything except, you know, watching people dance and saying oh, if it's good or not. That's perfectly great. You know, by the way, I like the vest you got on there. That, that's very dapper. I'm gonna find yes. one like that. I like that. Yeah. Yes, you'd think it's just rhinestones on fabric, but in yeah. fact, it's all rhinestones. Oh, I, I get it. There's no that. fabric oh. underneath. Oh, oh, that's, yes. oh, that is amazing. Oh, that is incredible. Yes. They're yeah. also quite sharp. Oh, yeah, they are. I did notice that too. I, oh, yeah. yeah it was yes, a you, you did get a little bit of blood on my rhinestones. Oh, but I see some other dried blood on there. It looks like you've been having, you've been showing that thing off to everybody. I like it. Yeah, yes, yes, I, yes, th this is my, I want you to be on my show. Ooh, ow, they're sharp on the back oh. as well. Oh. Yeah, but this is my, I want you to be on the show, Rhinestone Vest. Oh, well, that's very dapper. And I just want to say that I've loved your show for years. And this yes. is really a dream come true for me, I have to tell you. Oh, no, no, everybody says that. I, I am a dream come true for everybody. Oh. Tag out, Cassie. 
All right, uh, Simon. All right, we got to pick someone new uh, to be your, your judge partner, okay? Oh, look at your vest. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I just I just want to give you a hug. Is that like okay? It's like I just uh, probably I not. You. It would probably kill us both. But I just miss you like so so much. I, I just come come here come here. Son. Oh oh fine. Go ahead. Go ahead. Zoom in, zoom into the vest. Zoom into the vest. Ah! Oh my gosh! Oh, oh I got him! Oh. I got him! I got him! Ah. Ow! Simon! Ah. Oh! Um. Sweet. <laughs> well, we're going to have to sell Jamba Juice. We're, you know, we've been a lot of places, but you know what? This year, we're selling it. I just We're wanted to let you know, being the okay. manager and all. We're going to start selling Jamba Juice? No, no. We are going to sell the Jamba Juice. Uh, I, Only one Jamba Juice? Well, yeah. In this courtyard, yes. Long John Silver's is moving in, man. It's fish. Fish is the next. Well, you know, like orange is the new black. Fish is the next thing. So we're going to put fish in the Jamba Juice? That seems a little weird. Fish in the mall. It's gonna be it's gonna be incredible. Everybody will smell it and they'll all come running. Rachel, Rachel, did you get rid of the employees already? We need to move with this new thing. All the employees come with us. Yes, but we need to we need to move. We need to get this done now, Rachel. Oh, absolutely. Well, I just wanted to let you know that today we start transitioning. What does that mean? We need the, to move this stuff today. It's to the other the, place. The fish is coming in and the juice is going out. Like the oh. fish are going to be like swimming inside the store? Like uh, this, this must be Ramon. You told me about Ramon. Yes, yes, yes. Like the Jamba juice? One Jamba Ramon, juice. Ramon, maybe you can go and, you know, clean in the back or something. Clean in the back? Okay. Um, who's back? Oh, you deal with this, Rachel. I I just I'm just uh, having fish fish samples fish samples. Oh, oh. Long, long, hey, he's our fish, fish sample samples. guy. See, he's yeah. already starting it for us. It's great. Yeah. Here, get your fish oh, samples. I'm gonna take one because I love fish. If you try it. it it'll change your life. Oh. Ooh. My back feels a little straighter right now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I belong. Customer. John Silver. And this be my employee, Gerald. Yeah. Oh, I Mr. see Silver. the jumbo juice has not been moved out of here yet. Well, we, Sorry, are, we have to ready the cannons. Yeah. Okay. We are on our Also, way, I am half Scottish on my father's side. Oh, this is so great. I, sir, I have been like the biggest fan. And you know, when I was a kid, I wore a patch. So I, this is great. This is fantastic. I love it. <laughs> oh, the patch, the patch is just like and a corporate see. thing. Give it up for team one. Team one. Excellent, excellent, excellent. And thank you. Thank you, Angel, for being the timer on that. And as you saw in my uh, announcement, we uh, have an audible tonight. Instead of four teams of 15 minutes, we have three teams of 20 minutes. So the next, team, the next team playing in a little bit will be our only... Uh, uh musical team of the night but uh hey i have a question what are all of you doing next weekend like from thursday friday saturday sunday i bet you're all going to the intercity uh Imp intercity uh festival intercity improv festival which starts next thursday and i'm gonna share my screen to show you what it looks like there we are Let's do this. How about that? Everyone see that? Am I doing something? <laughs> All right. Ooh. This is our internet. Say, if you go to intercityimprovs.com, this you'll see this festival. You see what we're having next weekend. We're having jams. We're having troops. We're having workshops. Let's take a look at some of these workshops that we have going on next weekend. Oh, uh, we have uh, 
Uh, our friend Tez Yancey is running nuts and bolts, fundamentals of solid scene, solid, solid scene work. Woo! And we have all these other crash courses with Marcus Sams, Anthony Francis, TJ Mannix, Bill Arnett, Scarlett, Marissa Rivera, Chris George, Luna, Luana. I can't pronounce her last name correctly. Uh, Sean Landry, Liz Allen, our own Nick Condon. So we have all sorts of uh, workshops for you to join. We have jams. Look at all the, actually that page is under construction. Don't look at that. We have lots of different troops coming in. Yes, we have. We have, look at all these names. Look at all these names of teams we have playing. Unicorn Kingdom, Bantam Roosters, the ones that are playing tonight, our own house teams. So please come come see it because we want you to we want you to be at the festival and our headliner next week at the festival at our sunday jam will be orange tuxedo craig and carla kakowski so we should tell your friends tell your neighbors tell your neighbors and your friends but yeah so it's a long long festival people have been working very very hard on this i'm very proud of what we've uh, all put together um and now we should be ready to go to our Next team and our next uh, our next introducer is Alex. Thank you. Take it away, Alex. All right. So for t for next is team two, which is going to be our first musical team, who is going to get wonderful music played by uh, Michael Olivier, one of our many wonderful Michaels and many wonderful uh, music uh, music directors. Uh, so remember that this is our only musical set and it's 20 minutes. So if you hear your name, uh, please pop up. So we have Michael Ostrowskis from uh, San Bruno, California. Uh, Susan Skosko. Sorry if I get your name in. Uh, by the way, I apologize for any mispronounced last names. And Susan from Pennsylvania. Janice uh, M. from New Jersey. Uh, Nelson Morgan from Oklahoma. Danelle uh, Marr from uh, Fremont, California. Uh, Don Sloven from New York City, New York. And uh, also uh, David Shapiro from Chicago, Illinois. And your timekeeper is uh, going to be uh, Michael Workowski. Uh, so, He's another uh, one of the wonderful two. Michaels. Yes. So team two, <laughs> take it away. Uh, Alex. Do we have a suggestion? Yes. Are you going to do that, Michael? No, you got it, Janice. Oh, can we have a suggestion of a special? <laughs> oh, I just knocked myself out. We're all disappearing. Ooh. Yeah. We're all special. Can we have a suggestion of a special place for? I don't know for family. The beach. Cheese. The cheese. The forest. Carnival. Yeah. Oh, 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 okay. Let's put it the forest. Yay. Forest. Thank forest. You. <laughs> forest. Are you an ogre? How did you guess? I read about you in one of my many picture books. Oh my gosh, what did you read? What do you know the about me? Ogres are big, they rule the forest, and they have hearts of gold. Yes, you're correct in all of those. Big, we are one of the forest, and we do have big hearts of gold. My name's Henry. Hi, Henry. My name's Only, Only Ogre. Only ogre. Well, uh, uh, let me shake your hand. Whoa! There you go. <laughs> I like that grip. You have a pretty good grip. Thank you. Thank you. It runs in my family, but it's not an ogre family. Oh, it's tough being an ogre. Trust me. <gasps> really? Yes. It must Look. How many people really want to hang out with an ogre? Well, you're twice my height, so yeah, I'm, I'm, not I'm intimidated. I'm not even grown yet. <sighs> you're a young ogre. I'm a young person. Yes, I'm at 722. That's young for an ogre. Wow. 722. Do you like 
Sports only? No, I I like it. I like sports. I like running. I like swinging through the trees. I, wow. Yeah, I do it all. You have a wonderful life only. Try to give you a hug. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> sweep, 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 sweep. Excuse me, dear. Yes. Excuse me, dear. Have you seen Have you seen Henry around anywhere? God, I tell you, that kid is just lazy. He's, He's lazy. lazy. He's I know. To, did he go into the? Do you think he went out to the forest again? Well, that's your kid. Since I had him, I've been telling you to keep an eye on him. I don't know. He's he's okay. just full of this illusion. All right. We talked we talked about this with Dr. Rosenstein. We're uh, not supposed to take we're not supposed to play the son. We're not supposed to play Henry between us. Playing the son, listen. Come on. Honey, honey, that's your baby. That's okay. your child. It's, it's you it's named our, him. It's you our named baby. him? Huh? Okay. Well, it's our baby, but okay, he's, be that he's, as it may, we. Uh, uh, Mom and Dad, I, I have a Henry, question. Here you are. Yeah. I have a question. Which one of you guys do I look the most like? Your father. What? Well, Mom, I got your nose. I know, but the rest belongs to your father. It's I, all right. It is it's all okay. right. Well, I needed to know because everybody tells me I really look like my uncle. Your <laughs> uncle. Oh, my goodness. You're, well, you're, that's why uncle? your father. Huh? Yeah, your brother. Your oh. brother. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I don't think you should be bringing that subject up. You're just a little kid. There's nothing but, you should be thinking about. You know what? Mom, did you do your chores? I did my chores, but every time I'm out doing chores, that's what the neighbors tell me. They keep telling me that I look like my uncle. But I'm going to go back and do my chores, and you Thank guys can you. go ahead and Thank have your you. discussion. Thank you. Honey, you know, I don't think this third Change the subject. Yes. Okay. Change the subject. I change this. Change the subject from things we don't want to talk about. Ooh, ooh, so you think that we are having an issue of communication. Here comes the therapist. 
Hello. Do- Hello. Doctor, doctor, I'm having an issue. My marriage is going to pot. My husband don't want to talk to me. Communication. That's the issue here. We need more communication. That's what, I, that's what I've been telling them. I've I... been married to Harry for 10 years. That's a long time to be with somebody. But as time goes on, I'm wondering if I should stay. But my son comes first. You're a good mother. Thank you. You're a very good mother. Tell that to him. Uh. Sir, please chat with your wife more. She's a very good mother. Bring Harry in more often because he is terrible. Have you anything to say? Communication today. Please speak. I'm telling you, everything will be okay. I'm not his father. I'm I'm leaving. I don't care. I'm not his father. Well, I admit it. He he, he got it right. I am not his father. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, you look fantastic. What happened to you? It's like you changed overnight. It's the hat, right? It's the hat. It's changed me completely. You're uh, like I can, glowing. I can get you a hat too. I saw it. It's, there's a guy in the corner. He looks like a little leprechaun or something like that. And I bought it for five bucks. Here, try it on. All right. Yeah, try it on you. Oh, now we're yeah. looking like cousins. Yeah, we do. Yeah. No it, one will it, be able to tell us apart. You're glowing. You are glowing too. This, I'm telling you, that guy's magic. This is an amazing hat. Oh my, yeah. oh my gosh. <gasps> I found a gold coin. Did you get gold coins from the hat too? Uh huh. I did. I yes. got four gold coins. Whoa, four. I just see this one, but it's dated 1849, and it looks like a half eagle and half ogre on it. Wait, let me see the one I've got. Hold on. These are great. Oh, wow. What? Uh, it says made in China. I don't know if it's if it's the gold coin that that I was expecting. Hank, hold on. Let me look on the other side. Hank, a gold coin is great no matter where it's from. It doesn't matter oh, where it's from. Oh no, no, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that it looked like it was different. That I look, but you know, it's glowing too. Do you <gasps> see that it's glowing? This is the best day ever. This forest has got magic powers. I gotta find that guy. Yeah. I gotta find that guy. Whoa. Gotta find that guy today. Gotta find that guy today. He might be out in a state. Probably out there selling stuff. We gotta. Find the guy! We gotta find the guy. Well, that guy, he's magic. He's magic to me. That guy, he's magic. He's gonna set us all free. That guy on the corner. 
He did it with me. I say. It's golden today. A golden day. Hey. Just wanna keep on loving this day. Keep oh, on, yeah. keep on. We're gonna glow today. I feel like I've just grown two feet. I swear to God, I have grown two feet larger than I was when I walked in. I see that. Wait. Ho, 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 who dares to cross my bridge? You, you talking to me? I'm talking to all of you. This is my bridge, and oh, I yeah. require a token, a gold token, if you want to cross it. That doesn't sound very friendly, if I may say so. Do I look like I need friends? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> if you want to cross to get to the other side of the forest, you're going to have to play a toll. <laughs> yeah, you, know, you, think, you think you can keep me, only ogre, from crossing I've over? Been, I've had <laughs> bigger <laughs> ogres than you. No, you, you can't even reach me. I'm going, and there ain't nothing you can do. I like to see this go. Yeah, well, let's just line up and get her done. Oh, uh, my. <laughs> you think it'll be that easy? Uh, look, I've already stepped over you uh, twice. You oh, can't cow. see me, can you? <laughs> I have the power of infinity. <laughs> <laughs> Hold it. <laughs> But I'll go again. I'll go right. I'll go. I'm scared, but I'm not afraid of you. I'm scared. <laughs> Be careful. Wait one. Come to you. <laughs> Wait one second. Wait one second. Onlyficent ogre. Oh. It is I, your mother. Oh, Onlyficent no. ogre. Onlyficent only ogre. You must come home now. Got him. Your playtime with your playmates is over. I have Leave to this come home. Person alone. Yes, it's dinner time. Okay. Magnificent ogre. I'm coming home. Melvin, you Bye. gotta get more control with your son. He's just doing his own thing. I'm telling you, he's messing up your reputation. Are you trying to con are you trying to accuse me of not raising my ogre son correctly? Hey, I'm just hearing it from the trees. Does anybody need a wish? I'm the Ooh. leprechaun of the late Saint Patty's Day. Well, oh, hello, leprechaun. I'll take a wish. Yes. What is your wish? My wish is to be able to go over and be not killed by the ogre or by that other horrible creature that's scaring the crap out of me. Sure, let me just shoot you a rainbow. It's an upside down rainbow and it is the colors. It is the colors of New Orleans. Go and follow that and you'll find your pot of gold at the end of it. Why are we always up in each other's business? Oh, you're, you're a good leprechaun. Could I have one? Could I have one just like what he just had? Can I have sure, that? little girl? Yeah. What would you like? Leprechaun, yeah. you are... You're messing up my business! Why are we always up in other people's business? Because that we're nosy! We're nosy but dinskies! What is your wish, little girl? I just... I just wish... I just wish I had... A little pot of gold. If I had a pot of gold, I'd share it with you all. I really would. I'm yeah, trying I... to do a business. Pot of gold. I claim this bridge for me. I need to get finance so I can retire. Me. I'm sending you a whole pot of rainbows. Uh, 
Step by step. In each step other's business. Nosy but deep sneeze. I'm trying to just make some go. To move my woe. I'm over the bridge. I'm over the bridge. Oh. I'm over the bridge. Oh. Look at your gold. At the end of the rainbow. Turn left. Sweep, sweep, sweep. So, um, Henry uh, appears. So, uh, our son Henry. Henry? Yes. I saw you. No, you. <laughs> Henry. Oh, that Henry? Dad, oh, no, Henry. That Henry. 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 That Henry. Henry. I, it's a good is this, name. Is this, is this your friend, the ogre? Only ogre. It's short for something, but I forget what. Elephant, maybe. Yeah, some. Uh, yeah, hi. Um, do, 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 do you need anything special from us? Only do you need anything special from us while you're playing in our house? Do, do you, well, in your house? I've only what? got a foot in your house. That's all that. Well, that's fit. all that will fit right now. Could we? Uh, is there something special that you need to eat? Honey, we have the ogre here. You don't need to yell. He can hear you. Oh, uh, hi. I wasn't I wasn't expecting company. I was yeah. just I was just kind of just going and going in my room since you and I are not together anymore, honey. Yeah, okay, yeah. Well, we're living in separate have, rooms. Do you have some my spaghetti? Good friend. Oh my god, you're making friends. Oh, he, he, he's great at shaking hands. Watch this. Whoa. Oh, oh. Whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Oh, so oh. oh my I, god. You I, know I, what? I never thought you would have a friend. This is really nice. I mean, even though your dad and I are breaking up, and, mm -hmm. but yeah, you mentioned it a lot. Marriage might be temporary, but friendship is universal. I'm going to sing that again. Marriage might be temporary, but friendship is universal. Universal. Can I say that friendship comes first? When you have someone who cares about you the most, friends too and yes. and all the creatures of the forest yes. even oh all it takes is taking the first step yes. you have the world in before you only yeah. only yeah. we want you to stay with us we want you to be our second son we're all gonna do this with you and see. Great job, team two. Yay for me and our team and that team. Wonderful, <laughs> wonderful. Cheering for myself. And thank you to Michael Olivier again for giving us that wonderful backing. Uh, gotcha. And uh, uh, here, uh, right now, I think we're going to see a sketch. Uh, from Dad's Garage, I believe, starring uh, with a guest starring by Scott Adsit from Thirty Rock, also uh, Second City in Chicago. Uh, went went through that with uh, Tina Fey and Rachel Dratch and a number of other people. Alex, you got that ready? Here he goes. Yes. Ah, oh, Brian, come in. Yes. 
Have a seat. Morning to see me, Dad? I feel like it's been a while since we've had a chance to really sync up. How have you been? Are you still practicing the, uh, what is that, a piccolo? It's a recorder. Is that even a real instrument? Well, Brian, let's get down to brass tacks. You seem a little distracted lately, head in the clouds, that kind of thing. And uh, what I'm trying to say is that the execution of your chores has not been quite up to snuff, and it has not gone unnoticed. Brian, have you seen the gutters? I can't reach them. Well, not with that attitude, you can't. Look, maybe it's time to shake things up a bit. A change of pace would do us both some good. Brian, you know Gina Gershwin from down the street. I finished the gutters, Mr. Johnson. Weren't too high for you, were they? No. She's great. Now, I know what you're thinking, Brian, but you're not being fired. Gina's not replacing you so much as helping you realize a bigger opportunity outside the family. re -al Just don't. Brian, every great man has sat where you're sitting right now, at a crossroads. The only question is, which way are you going to choose to go? But I live here. Do you? Get out there. Clear your head. Assess your options. You'll see it was all for the best. Rome wasn't built in a day, son. And certainly not by a man who can't remember to take out the trash. I'll need your key. But, but I... Best of luck to you. I, I mean that. Awesome. Again, that was by Dad's Garage, uh, our own uh, Bianca Garcia, uh, who is on Bantam Roosters, practicing, getting ready right now uh, as part of that uh, theater. Uh, and since we had that, um, I think we're ready to go with Team 3. And I forgot Ooh. to bring that up. So whoever is hosting Team 3, I think it's Michael W. You're hey, right. thank three, you, David. Right? This will be our second. You know what you're doing. Thank you, David. I love you, but I still hate deep dish pizza. So that's one out of two. Uh, hey, welcome to Team 3. E -E I, Michael Wachowski, am your host. And Angel Canes out of Spain will be a timekeeper. So keep an eye out for her when you have two minutes left. Yep. And on Team 3 tonight, we have Mona Law of Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. Alex Lee of La Cañada, California. Donovan Santiago of New York City, New York. Jess Kent of Omaha, Nebraska. Donna Paul from Portland, Oregon. And Greg the Whale Little from Berkeley, California. This is your team three. <coughs> May God save them all. We need a one word suggestion to get us started. Arm. Arm? I didn't hear it. What? Farm. 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 Thank you, farm. As in moo. Farm. Thank you, farm. farm. Moo. <clears throat> right, let me try again. What your father's trying to say is put down the phone <laughs> and actually experience the outdoors. Is it because exactly. I started playing Farmville? You want to like, you think I like that now? It's like going to bring me out of my shell. I'm a human being. I'm just addicted to my phone. Okay. You don't have to treat me like a child. I mean, we, we start, we staged this intervention. We drove three hours to get here to do this intervention. You're stuck with us. Okay. Like, I know, 
I know I've been really, I haven't been answering my phone since I went to college. You but you're heard. always on it. How do you know that though, mom? How, I'm gonna let your mom answer this question. Because I'm your mother. That is a good reason. That mothers know things like how much phone usage daughters do. I feel like you don't understand how Instagram or Facebook works because I think you like a lot of things and you don't know that you did that. No, I, I know I like them. Okay. I know what I like. Okay, so you know that I know how you know that I'm on my phone a lot. Fine. The way I know is that I get the bill and I see the data usage. Oh. Sweep and leave a lot. What? So, oh, yeah, Helen, you know, I heard part of that conversation when your mom and dad came to see you. Yeah. Um, my mom and dad would never come this far to see me. I mean, they live on a farm somewhere and you, do, you can't get them off of it. But wow, your mom and dad care about you. But like, if, you're, if your mom and dad came, would you be happy to see them? Knock, knock. I think I would be shocked. Knock, you knock. Know, because- Who's that? <laughs> no, no, is someone in our, our dorm door? That's not- It's, it's me. Jelani. Do you your know dad. that guy? Your dad. Uh, oh, all right. Oh, it's I'm, your dad. Are you dressed? I, I have my robot. Yeah, I'm dressed, of course. Oh, I'm yeah. in <laughs> roommate. Okay, okay. Dad, what are you doing here? Let's open the door and oh. let him in. Oh my I, God. I came from Portland all the way here to Seattle. It was long, treacherous, and alfalfa died on the way. You have a you have a farm in Portland? Yeah, oh. alfalfa. Oh. Yes, well, I did. You I don't killed know anything about cat? That. What? You killed our cat? No, alfalfa was the neighbor next door. He's dead. The cat is okay. To alfalfa's funeral. Uh, he was, he was a man. <laughs> he had a, he wore a hat. Um, That's he, all you knew about him? I'm a, hold on, Jess. God say, let me, let me get to, let me, he, he was a fan of Michael Buble. He was in the Marine Corps, 17th Air Division. Uh, he tried to sketch comedy class, but didn't do so well. He he was a big fan of TikTok. And uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I wasn't going to say anything because I was hiding. But mom, you came to my friend's neighbor's funeral. And yes. you're, you're here. And you're acting like you knew him and you're taking I did, him you know, and clearly you just followed me here. No, I know because I'm your mother. Oh, that's how that's how she knew. I um I just followed her here. Um I know what I like and I know who I mourn. Look, I gave the speech. I'm done. Well uh, that's it. I, I mean you didn't I didn't even post it anywhere, so you must have like GPS tracked me here. No, I know because I'm your mother. That's how, that's the way. Okay, well, you've interrupted this funeral that um, I guess a lot of people were, I, I don't interrupt. know if we really interrupted anything. I feel like interrupt may be a strong morning. word. You interrupted the oh morning. God. They have like, they have a standing up open coffin yeah, I wonder. We're like the only ones left. I wonder if we're meant to do anything. Is this, I feel uh, like we should close it. Don't they usually bury the person by the end of these things? Maybe yeah. someone will come get him. I don't know, but I feel like we should close it. Well, here, there's, there's it's an overcrowded, it no. here, I'm gonna it's an overcrowded it. I'm cemetery. Gonna They're going to put out. him in feet first. I'm just going to close his eyes. <laughs> I just 
want to let you know, I was in the back. He was always thought he was Egyptian. So he's like a sarcophagus. So he's, that's why he's standing up. But if we can push the door shut, we won't have to look at his face. He was not a very good neighbor. Oh. He wasn't bad, but he wasn't good. We, we, uh, we heard about the funeral and we're sad about it. That's why we're here. I thought you were just coming because my roommate came. I, it's, I, you did it, sign the guest book. It's unclear. It's definitely, it's definitely above board and not anything stalkerish related to our daughter, who is oh, also here for some reason. I came to mourn. Ellen, as I was. As did we. I wasn't going to tell you this, but I found a hidden camera in the dorm room. Well, and thanks I, for telling was, me now, Susie. It wasn't put there by my dad because he doesn't, he's not electronically with it. Why would your dad put one there? No, Why would I, anyone put one there? That's your, very I, weird and crazy. Yeah, I, I smashed it up. Oh, good. Not in time, maybe, but thank you. <laughs> okay. I, um, I, for the record, well, I'm in favor of that camera being smashed. As your father, I'm in disfavor of cameras being okay i'm tired of you being switzerland okay you can't just i mean it's not it's not even passive aggressive it's just passive passive and i don't you say you're on my side and you say you're on mom's side and you say nothing about anything that describes it very well what was yeah, this this is where, if it were a musical set, we would sing. <laughs> you have so many emotions I could sing about. <laughs> Sleep. <laughs> Alex. <laughs> All right. And that's, and that's, the, that's the story of Barb and Jack Dunkelman. Two old people on our last leg. Thanks for telling me. Yes. You know, so, uh, <clears throat> so I can I can see what brought you here, given that. Well, what um, can I say? I've never been to this town before. Yeah. So where to now? I think we just stay in this town. I mean, look at it: trees on one side, desert on the other side. Have you ever seen a town with trees and a desert? Just this one. Exactly. And I like living on the edge. Oh, trees. we're on the edge. Desert. Listen, Marty, or can I call you Michael? You can call me either of those names. All right. Listen, Jake, it's you're my only friend really in this border downtown. Which we only just arrived at. What? Well, we just arrived here. Yeah, but you're you're my only friend because we just arrived here. You know, I I don't. I'm kind of like a loner, like a Chris Hemsworth type, you know? Yeah, me too. Except for you. You are one of my only only, only people that's around me as well, uh, Fern. Please, call me Gully. So we've Gully. been Alex. So since your arrival up here, when you got past the pearly gates, um, mm -hmm. I've noticed you have, you've had some trouble adjusting. And we just, you know, they sent me to, to scout this out to find out if you need some bounced counseling. It's like counseling with clouds combined term. Okay, is heaven always this kind of cheesy? Well, kind of. It has music. Okay. We have, you know, paved roads with uh, stuff that you can't do anything with. You can't eat it. You can't wear it. It's just shiny and bright, so you can at least see where you're going. But I was wondering, if you had bad feelings towards your neighbor, would you like to go back to Earth and confront them? Oh. Um, we do oh, have Jesus. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, sorry. Am I not allowed to say that? He, oh, anyway. he was and sometimes, and, and here's that, when, when people react like that, that has happened before. Okay. But okay, you do so, have that option. If you want to go back to Earth and 
Sorry, I'm Jesus. I just want to say, cut it out, man. Oh, sorry. Respectfully. Just, yeah, I'm not. Yeah, I'm so, sorry, he, Mr. Christ. You got lucky that time. You caught him in a good mood. Yeah. A good mood. Sorry. Maybe. Yeah, now, sorry. They won't uh, be able to see you, but they'll be able to hear you. Okay. But, Mr. Uh, Peter, um... I was not expecting suddenly to get an offer just to go back to Earth. I mean, I barely got here and just heard a bad pun. <laughs> well, it's because you, you know, unexpectedly um, taken down from Alpha's parents. Yeah. It, it's very confusing, but, it, you know, it's, so we get cases like that sometimes. Knock, very knock. It, it's God. It's God. Oh. Knock, knock. Oh, wait. That's the father. God has, God has oh, enough? Yeah. Uh, All right, I mean, we have to let him in. Oh, I have to. Okay, okay. I, I don't think we should make God wait. Hello there. It is me, God. Oh. I look uh, a little bit like Harry Houdini. Okay. I I was expecting taller. So, oh, sorry. Watch it, mister. Last time I got you, mad, you, I went. Uh, sorry, you look taller in the mirror. Hey, look. <laughs> so what? I sneezed, the dinosaurs got extinct. That's not why I'm here. Okay, okay. Um. I wanted to say, would you like this Chicago-style deep dish pizza? He does this sometimes. Wait, like to make you feel welcome. What? Whatever happened to like a good old like like Neapolitan? You know. If you'd like a Neapolitan oh, pizza, shit. we have those. Okay. When Sorry. this uh, that's when safe. this happens, I'm like, uh, I'll be back. Wait, is this? Hey, for tag out everybody but Alex. <laughs> hey, so uh, I heard Karen talk to you and the yeah. devil and God. Yes. So I know her offer is kind of appealing to some people, but I can offer you, um, you can possess a person of your choice, but they have to always be, uh, they have to be in the house you were in. Oh. This is like a haunting thing. Okay. And you can like move around some dishes if you Wait, want. Move around what? Move around some, some dishes. What? You can. I, it's oh, harder oh. to do the dishes, but normally you just. It's easier to do the just opening the the cabinets. Uh, it can be a lot of fun. Okay. okay, it just seems like a lot of effort to haunt a house when the only thing I could move is just a couple, a few, a few plates. You know. Okay, but those people took your house, so. Okay. Okay, fine. I, I guess I don't. I don't. I don't have a lot of options. I mean, I don't like deep dish, and <laughs> you know. Actually, your mom it. still lives there. What? She's renting from the new owner. She couldn't okay. afford the place anymore because she paid for the funeral, and it was really oh. sad. Oh, my, mom. Yeah, I want to. I want to see. Would you like to haunt your mother? Yeah. Okay. Great. Okay. Um. Uh, mom. So you wanna... Mom. Oh. <laughs> Good job. I'll leave it to oh. you to it. <laughs> mom, it's me, your son. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> I mean, I can't rationalize pie. <laughs> mom, don't you don't you recognize the spirit ho holding this dish? I can't see, but I, I understand that that voice. It's it, it's me, my parents. Uh, they they gave me the option to come back. I mean, they told me to haunt you, but I I, I just I just feel like I never got to say goodbye. Barbara Dunkelman, <gasps> this is your conscious speaking. You need to believe. You need to believe that is floating pie. I, I was I was getting the bat. Thanks. Knock, 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 knock. Um, I guess I'll open this door. Hello, miss. Um, I heard that you were having a haunting today, and uh, I can take care of that for you for a small fee. No, I, it's my son. I, I want him to stay. I'm sorry, how do you know that that floating pizza is your son? It's okay. just a pizza. Hey, but hey, it's my exactly. son. 
Oh, hello. I just came by to check on the, the neighbor of the friend of my parents' daughter's roommate and who had died. Um, is everything okay with that? With that person? It's good. It, with the I'm person lost. who died? There, there was a, a, a neighbor of somebody of some relation to me who died, yeah. and I would just and I went to their funeral, and it was very sad. There weren't very many people there. We were like the last ones there, and we didn't even know the person. So I, I just wanted to come by and and check. Yeah, I wasn't I wasn't impressed by the attendance. Oh, <laughs> it's, you're you're that back. wasn't impressed by the attendance. I think that might be your son. Oh, there's somebody else here. Who's that? Pizza oh. Food. Richard Nixon. <gasps> Thank God, it's Richard Nixon. He's always Nixon. haunting everything. Get That's out of right. here, Richard Nixon. Oh, <laughs> uh, wait a minute. This is fast forward to the graduation speech by the daughter at the college with oh. everybody attending, including the ghost. And she's giving the valedictorian speech. I'm not a crook. I'm so proud of you. I knew. I could graduate despite all the distractions from my family and my roommate's family and their dead relatives or neighbors. Ooh, ooh, your mom uh, is in. Is your mom? But do you want a new cell phone? No. Wait a minute. This is what it was all about? I have a degree in sociology now. Is anybody hiring? sociologists in the crowd. Uh, um, Ghost of Richard Nixon? Actually, I'm actually alive, Richard Nixon. <laughs> Not sure why you would pretend. Does that mean you have a job for my It's daughter? much more shocking that you're alive, actually. What can I say? Presidential conspiracies. Okay. I'm just so proud of you. I love roommate. you, roommate. Yeah. I'm so glad my mom's not here. Yeah, just well, the devil. Somehow, for some reason, the devil and your mom couldn't be here at the same time. It's hard to explain. Where did that man go? <laughs> Maybe he has a sociology job. Mr. Shapiro. Yeah. I'm gonna yeah. hand you yeah. your degree. Look. Oh, oh did you I not hand the degree yet? That's important. That's an important step. Oh, whoops. I guess I didn't count. I think we all learned something. This is a today. degree. Oh, I, I got one. Meaning of life. And scene. <laughs> Give it up, 14 3. Yay! Yes, I am the Shapiro. I am. Good job, Team 3. Welcome, welcome. We're getting to the college and then you disappeared. And then I keep coming in. It's going to. I keep it. I'm the one who keeps forgetting to turn off my video when I come in from the breakout room. Wasn't that great? <laughs> Team 3. Team 3. All right. That was uh, the end of our. Uh, the the jam portion. We have our uh, headliners coming up in a bit, but I'm wondering. I'm thinking some of you are might be thinking, what's coming up on the menu here at uh, Inner City? And I will show you in just a second. What is on the menu? What's on the menu? What's happening here? Well, every six, every every week, you guys know about it. You're here. We'd love to have you here. We love having you here. Tell your friends about us. We also have Toast and Jam on Saturday mornings at 10 a.m. Pacific. It's a lot of fun. I might be starting to host it in a, in a little bit. Uh, three long form sets in a row. You play with a different team each round. The only thing you don't have is an audience. Uh, you just play for yourselves. Well, we had some fun. We have some real fun uh, options we add for the second and third rounds. Come and see what it's all about. Uh, we also have an inner city open mic by month, uh, by weekly, uh, every two weeks. It looks like the next one is coming up uh, on the twenty seventh. Is that Monday? Tomorrow. 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 Hosted, I believe. And uh, so there is all the information. Please sign up. Five minute slots to do whatever you want. Uh, last time I got up and told uh, three or four uh, old Jewish jokes that my family tells. Uh, you can do whatever you want. We'd love to see you there. We also have a short form improv jam. Next one is on Tuesday, March 30th. Uh, that uh, goes for an hour. It's also a lot of fun. Come out and play some short form jams with your friends. We have a musical improv jam bi-weekly. The next one will be on March 28th. Faustino hosts that. 
Uh, the event is not streamed, but uh, you could find the link uh, and the Inner City Improv page. We also, hey, we all talked about the festival. That's what we have going on next week. We got lots of stuff. We got Landry and Summers. We got Tez Yancey. We got workshops. We got j- basically every uh, every two hours, there's a, a jam followed by two improv teams, followed by a jam, followed by two improv teams. It's awesome. Tell everybody. Because it's being a uh, headline next Sunday by Orange Tuxedo. Craig and Carla Kukowski. You might know Craig for you. He was on uh, a couple episodes of Community, and he was on the Thrilling Adventure Hour, and Carla has probably been on similar things that I'm just not as familiar with. Uh, we have an Etsy store. Hey, everyone, if you have something to promote with Etsy, turn on your video so people can see. Who's got, who else got Etsy stuff? We got an Etsy store. Get yourself some swag, like this wonderful cup, or this, or what Danelle is, or, or that. Oh, look at that. Great. You actually can't. I don't think you can get those. Uh, on the website, the the face mask, but you can get everything else. You can get the flying, the you can get a mug flying on a pizza if you want, as Alex Lee is showing. And of course, we have our community page at uh, uh, Intercity Improv Hub. So if you have uh, information about your own theater, your home theater, another jam you know of, another show that you're in, you can post that there. We always like seeing that information. Of course, we're always looking for uh submissions for this main jam we'd love to have guest troops we love to see sketches we love to have different music directors different jammers hey how about a volunteer see what all the volunteers been doing here if you want to do that come on give, give us a contact we'd love love to have you and that's what's going on the around the uh, country today and uh normally we'd save this part for the next uh transition but since we don't have one we're going to go to promotion. So does anybody here in the audience have something to promote? Turn on your camera and I'll see what you have. What's happening? Donovan, what's happening in your neck of the woods? Hey, uh, how's it going? Uh, the Honey Jam is happening. Uh, the festival uh, mm-hmm. on the 26th at 7 p.m. EDT. Uh, I limited it to 12 slots, but all my other jams are uh, open. Uh, David, I think you've been to a few jams. So mm-hmm. um and if you want to be on a wait list, potentially, and then also continue that fan fiction is next month. So I'm looking for four uh, new people. If you haven't played on the show in a while, uh, you can read my fan fiction from years ago and then continue it in improv. It's going to be um, nice and fun. So if you haven't played on the show in a while, uh, send me a message. Thanks. Oh, April 24th, uh, 9 p.m. EDT. Gotcha. Those are those are always fun. The honey, the honey bunny and. Improv those are always fun. Nick, how you doing? What are you promoting? Uh, I'm doing well, and I'm promoting the fact that uh, I, of course, teach a bunch of classes here at Curious Comedy Theater in Portland, Oregon, and I'm also teaching uh, a class for the festival, which you can check out. <laughs> in case you haven't heard about it yet, uh, Inner City is doing an Inner City Improv Festival. People from all over the world are teaching and playing and doing shows and jams and all sorts of things. So uh, I'm teaching a class called Find Your Physicality. So how can you use your physical space in this tiny rectangle that we're all in? Not only will this help you on Zoom in these tiny rectangles, but it will help you in 3D improv once we start doing that again. Thank you, Nick. Thank you. Jess, what do you Hi. got? Hi. My short form team, in addition to being on Thursday night at the festival, will also be performing against the festival on Friday night. I will drop those links in the uh, event or, yeah, in the event so that everyone has them. Um, but I hope to see you at the festival one at least. We, we support all other improv places. So good luck with that, Jess. Anybody else have anything to promote? Michael. I, I have a little thing to promote. Yesterday I was in a competitive improv show through a group in Midvale, Utah called Quick Wits. And uh, every March they normally on stage have a live, uh, I don't want to call it short form, Every team gets 25 minutes. They can do short form, they can do long form, they can switch. Anyway, I was in round one yesterday with my team, Quick With Bagel, so I'm putting the link in the chat. But I say watch it. It's a pretty fun show. It's my team and the other team. And whichever team you liked most, and it doesn't have to be mine, just comment on the video with the team that you think should move on to round two, which is, in fact, the final round. Thank you. Interesting. Thank you. Hi. Lana. I would like to plug my long form narrative house team, room temperature. 
You can't you can't see this. Can you see it? There we are. March 27th. Saturday at 2 Eastern on the Improv College YouTube page. Excellent. Thank you. Yay. Anybody else? Michael Workowski, hater of Chicago style pizza. Hello. Only because it deserves it, David. <laughs> Hey, hey, <laughs> hey, I, along with another improviser, at least EO Vino, started a lot more better improv and self expression a couple of months ago. We have a blue humor jam at 8 30 a.m. Pacific Sun uh, Saturdays and 8 p.m. Pacific Mondays. We have a grounded scene jam, 7 30 p.m. Pacific uh, Tuesdays, and we do a bunch of other, uh, and we do a bunch of other uh, events. And I'm a streaming form. I'm a show's karaoke uh, events, ecstatic dance uh, events from time to time. Check us out at a lot more better info than self-expression. I've dropped the link in the chat. So please um, uh, like and follow us for that and all the other ideas that we have cooking up. And of course, check out the two jams that we're hosting during the Intercity Festival next week. Excellent. So. I believe you're hosting hey, a blue. Hey, Dave, can I blue, say something? Uh, Janice, huh? I, I would be I would be dishonored if I didn't let you <laughs> let, let you speak. You. It is your sorry. time. Yeah, I got my pajamas on. I'm sorry. But anyway, mm -hmm. um, on next Tuesday, my group is going to be doing um, musical improv comet um, games. Mm -hmm. um, that'll be Tuesday, uh, the 23rd at eight o'clock. I put the link in Excellent. and we're doing um, the same format of whose line is it anyway, anyway. Excellent. Janice, for all of us here, how do you pronounce your last name? Matias or Matias. Um, Matias. Uh, Matias. There you go. Thank, Thank you. you. Much. Thanks for playing, Janice. We like having you. I uh, love being with you guys. <laughs> I love it. Anybody else? If not, we are going on to our headliner who has a special uh, a special appearance because it is our house team playing with our new orchestra uh, that Faustino created. So let's call to the to the to the, to the screen uh, Bantam Bantam Roosters. <laughs> We are the Bantam Roosters, and we'd like to get a suggestion from you. Today is the first day of spring, so I'd like someone to tell us what spring makes you think of. Allergies. <laughs> allergies. Thank you. Allergies. Thank you. Thank you, allergies. I just feel so much pressure <clears throat> all in here. Here. Uh, here and here and here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I, honey, here. You know what? The hot rag always helps you. It helps loosen all that stuff up. Listen, I will just say, first of all, doctor, that I don't like being called honey. Uh, it is demeaning. Well, you know, sweetie, really... allergy alert, allergy alert, allergy alert. Beep, beep, beep. Also, that adds to my anxiety, which I do not appreciate. <laughs> well, you're just all kinds of mess, sweetie. You know what? I come here for help from you. I feel disrespected. I come here for advice from you. But inside I feel neglected. I need help. I need help. I need help from you. Yeah, I can see that. You say your toe is sore. 
I can give you some painkillers. You said your stomach hurts. I can give you antacids. You say your head is hurting. And I gave you a hot red garden. But I don't think I can help you anymore. You don't know. Feel. Do you hear you say that my problems are not real? I am Christ. Have you tried losing weight? I think your problems will go away if you are about 10 pounds lighter. Sweet. Those stupid little humans think it's the trees. They do. But they but do it not is... know it. You, my mistress. Uh... They don't call me the pollen fairy for nothing. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> and I'm Look, glad I... I can just try to help by just getting a little bit of shivers and slivers off the tree to just help you with your magic. Mm -hmm. You are doing a fantastic mm -hmm. job helping little Timmy. <laughs> you could be my real right hand. I could use a second fairy. Oh, Pollen Princess, I would, I would be honored if, if I could be I, your right hand. I think you're ready. As a Pollen Fairy, go around. <laughs> we take pollen and we dust it on the ground. The sturdy humans, they just think that it's the trees and the flowers. But they don't see us and then they're sneezing for hours. This is what we do. This is what we do. This is what we do. Pollen fairies. This is what we do. We're pollen fairies. Pollen fairies. I started my life as a bug and I don't want to be there anymore. I want to be a pollen fairy. That's where I'm keeping my score. I want to stick it to the humans. I want to be your right hand. I need a new right hand I think you're ready To help us make people sneeze across the land This is what we do And it is what we have to We're pollen fairies Pollen fairies Pollen fairies, go up and fly. Pollen fairies, spread your wings and fly. Pollen fairies, pollen fairies. <laughs> Are you prepared, sir? I 
honestly, I have to tell you that I'm a little bit nervous. I'm just a humble spring bunny. But I feel a call to be a hero. Indeed. For I am the wise old owl of the forest. And you, little bunny, are destined for greatness. Who? No, that's my line. Who? <laughs> oh! And the who is you. But I'm so insignificant. I'm just a, a field have creature. You, have you not learned that is often the small creatures who has the greatest of impact? <laughs> well, I have been chewing on this magic carrot, and I believe that it's the cure for allergies. The magic carrot of Allerjohn? <gasps> You've heard of it. Indeed. It I bears the mark. The mark of your teeth. Look, this is fine. The other mark of Aragorn. Oh, yes, that as well. You but see, little rabbit. You are destined for greater things. Some have swords. Some have carrots. You don't need a golden ring. You just need to believe in yourself. Believe in me. You don't need a dwarf or a fighter or even an elf. An elf? No, you don't. You just need yourself. Myself? You are all you need. I'm all I need. They say big things come in little packages. I always knew that I was bound for something great. I was never first, I was always the run, I was always late. But now I see there's always been something destined for me, for me, for me, to be myself. And stay someone else and don't need an elf. All I need is myself. That's me. And that carrot, too. But you are the king. Go, Bonnie. Go, hop away. Little Bonnie. For the king. I can hop to it, I can hop to it, I can hop to it. Ooh, I can hop to it, I can hop to it, I can hop to it, I can do it. I can hop to it, I can hop to it, I can do it, I can do it. By your word, I'll use this carrot as my sword. I'm not a zero. I'm a hero! We can take it to the world. Take it to the world and save every little boy and Up to it. Bacaba! Through the mouse. <clears throat> Doctor? Is this, is this the new therapy? You just look at me? I really am hearing voices. They talk to me. Can't you hear those voices? 
It's only us that can hear each other. You didn't hear that? It's springtime. You crazy. All right. All right, listen. Okay, I admit. I admit. I, I've stolen things. I've stolen things. Is that what you want? You want me to admit my crimes? Make sure to pick up your dry cleaning. Doctor, I've left my dry cleaning somewhere too. Doctor! I'm going with the I'm angry and I'm seeing red. So help me. It's all in your head. It's all in your head. If you don't say something now, I'm going to do something Accomplished a lot today. We really did. Take out Laura. I don't think I even need to be here. So, just so you know, like, you save your, like, stuff for other people. Okay, I'm just gonna let you know that you're, like, the way you, like, look at me with your, like, eyes and try to be, like, oh, I'm piercing your soul or whatever doesn't work on me because I'm all emo or whatever. Okay, so, oh, uh, so funny. Okay, so I'm like, mean, so like, well, I can't like possibly have action, whatever. So like, I don't need to, you know, like, listen or whatever. I'm like, I don't even care. Oh, oh, your hands on your heart, like you care. So like now you're passionate and like that's fine. I to, like make it break down or share or whatever. Okay, so you're looking at me like, like you're actually listening to me, and that's fine. It's like she just has us all here in this little group session, you know? Yeah, man. We're all like emo or something, you know? I consider myself seen, but yeah, close. Right. So maybe you see me? You. Maybe I'm hurt, but that doesn't mean that you know me. That's it. That's my last word. I can just say I wonder about these things. The side effects on these drugs They said they'll give me wings 
I haven't seen them yet, but I want them to grow. I know how you feel. I dreamed that I was a fairy, and it felt oh so real. Drugs just aren't working. I wanna feel real. Now here we are, and we just want to be heard. We just wanna be seen. Do you see a doctor? Can you feel our pain? Are you going to help us? Or just give us to We all feel like we're faking it. I mean, I don't even have enough hair to be emo. So I'm trying to fake it. But, you know, I just want to be seen. I want to be cool because I want everyone to look me like you. We just want to be seen. We just want to be seen. We want to be seen. We just want to be seen. We just want to be seen. We just want to be seen. For who we really are It's so funny I thought I was a super funny With a magic carrot And I thought I'd win But my sword was just a broken pen I see you. I see you all. I see you all too. <gasps> see us? I, can, I can see you. And we just want to be seen. I see you. I see you. <laughs> also, I'm a magic owl. I see you. We Thank you very much. We are Bantam Roosters. Uh, check us out at New City in Brown. Hey. John Robertson, Dick Condon, Laura Zara, Josh Jenkins, Brian Sebi, Bianca Garcia, David Hepburn, and Susan Sosko. Actually, she has three of those three. Go with your hands up. And shout out to the band. Oh yeah, Jimmy. the band! Jimmy! Woo! Hail to the band! Faustino, yeah. you want to introduce the band? Uh, yeah. What? What? I can't hear you, David. Introduce, introduce the, the band! band. Oh, on the drums we have Luis Albuquerque! Woo! Uh, we have on the violin, Albuquerque! Woo! Yeah. Thank you, Inner City fan. We got Jimmy Cicero's on the bass, not the Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Thank you for oh, letting us Thank you for letting us address the first stand. I'm Ben Faustino, your keyboard player and music director. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. 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 Thank you so much. You know, uh, a year ago, I was just an improviser in Chicago who was said that the uh, pandemic was taking my once a week improv and turn and turn and making it go away. And then I found inner city and 
Here I am a, week, a year later, and I'm hosting the jam. I, I love it. I love the way it's gone. Thank you so much. Uh, do you want to be about? Hey, actually, we have a lot of volunteers here who make this going on. Volunteers either involved with tonight's show or volunteers involved with the uh, uh, festival. So turn on your screens if you're a volunteer and give us a wave. Look at look at all these Ooh. lovely faces. Well, thank you too, David. Thank you, thank you. My first time hosting. Thank you. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. We had the band, and uh, let's see. I think we uh, can announce who our headliner is going to be for next week. Yeah, get that done. Here's green. Good to the new. Let me get something, and there we go. One screen only. It doesn't doesn't help. Nope, that's the wrong one. Presentation. That's why. All right, so Alex, help me out here. <laughs> I can't uh, okay, do it. hang on. I can I can bring it up. I can yeah. bring it up. Although we kind of already announced it anyway, because it's it's yes. the Intercity Jam is part of is the, going to be the last thing of the festival. Oh, is the it is. Uh, it is. Orange Tuxedo, Orange uh, Craig and Carla Kukowski of Woo! Los Angeles, California. Yeah. Woo! All right. Check attack. Yeah. All right. I think uh, that is everything except for the line game, and we really didn't talk about it much. So I'm gonna we're gonna play a little bit of World's Worst, but I'm gonna I'm gonna throw it out to uh, the first person to turn on their camera could host World's Worst. If you want to host it for us. Well, I was seeing somebody else who wasn't a volunteer who wants to host World's Worst and call for the <laughs> call for anybody, anybody interested in hosting World's Worst. Otherwise, I will do it. Make a non-improviser do it. And absolutely, a non-improviser could do it. <laughs> uh, I don't think it works like that. Okay, it doesn't work like that. All right, I'm doing it. <laughs> Get it, David. Uh, I'm doing it. World's Worst. Uh, okay, uh, let's uh, let's. So give me a. Let's just start with an occupation. Doctor, patient. Do, uh, how, how Doctor. about? Yeah, I don't know. Let's just go with patient. World's worst patient. Yes. Uh, hurry up! Come on. <laughs> Michael. Doctor, I've tried none of what you said, and I still feel terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Josh, go for it. All right. Give me that prescription. Okay, just one star on Yelp for you then. <laughs> Brian. Yeah, I just, the pain is somewhere in like here. <laughs> Donna Paul. Wait, you expect me to wear that? There's not even a label on that. I mean, it's not designer. <laughs> Danelle. Oh, doctor, I'm just here for my weekly lawsuit against you. Very much. <laughs> All right, let's uh, change it up. Uh, let, give me a uh, a, uh, a job, a uh, career that no longer exists. A riverboat Super. wilderness driver. A riverboat, a riverboat driver. <laughs> if you're a bad river, a world's worst riverboat boat pilot. Brian. Samuel Clemens. <laughs> we are so alike. That's exactly what I thought. <laughs> yes, Michael. Oh, you want a close look at those turtles on the shore? Let's turn the boat. <laughs> we got the band. What do you got, Faustino? Ah, uh, look over there. It's Goofy. Welcome to a Frontier Adventure Land. <laughs> Woo! Uh -huh. Hi, y'all. Oh. Yes. Uh, this river's moving so slowly. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Danelle. Oh, dear. We seem to be up the river without a paddle again. <laughs> oh, ho, ho. <laughs> oh. Yes, Band and Jimmy. Uh, Steamboat Willie, get your butt over to the other lane. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we did it. We did. We did a job that uh, that doesn't exist anymore. Okay, Nick, how about a, for Nick a job uh, a do, a job that doesn't exist yet that will exist in the future? Talking toaster repairman. 
What was that? <laughs> talking toaster repairman. You'd be the world's worst talking toaster repairman. Yeah, I, I, I uh, talked to your toaster, and it uh, turns out uh, he doesn't like you. <laughs> Dawn. Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> Michael. Yeah, it's completely normal for the toaster to scream when you set it to above four. <laughs> Danelle. Yeah, the problem is you had the toast and jam at the same time inside the toaster. You can't have the toast and jam like that. Try it on Saturday. Right on Saturday, right. Nick. Uh, I'm so glad that you and your toaster could take the time to talk with me. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right, Faustino, give us a good one. We're going to end on a good one. Um, what's the name of the thing that, that landed on Mars recently? What's it oh, called? The rover? Perse Perseverance yeah. rover. I, uh, I'll check out that Perseverance over there. The brave little toaster finally made it to Mars. And there, uh, yay! Hey, that's it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Hey, let's all turn on our cameras and see if we get a good wave goodbye for everybody. So everyone can see us on the stream. Everyone who participated, including the band. Thank you to the band. Thank you to Michael. Thank you to the Zo Alex being a Zoom tech. Thank you to the marvels of technology. Anyone taking a picture? I am. <laughs> I've just Thank took a you. bunch. Thank you. Hey, everybody. <laughs> Thanks for playing. This has been the Intercity Long Form Improv Jam. Thank you to everybody who viewed on the stream. Yay! Yeah. Yeah.